What's up everybody, it's your boy Dronex Factor today. I'm going to be showing you why VR mode is the ultimate mode ever. Now if you're living in Australia and certain parts of the world, I know you can't really fly in VR mode, but outside of that, if you just you want to go drone 2.0 VR with the goggles and you're not flying it in VR mode, guys, let me tell you something, you're absolutely missing the best experience of your life right now. So I don't want to talk too much. I'm going to take you on board this guy, let's go for a ride. By the way, just in case you didn't know, that I don't actually have to come out of these goggles. A lot of people think, oh, I'm flying, I have to take my goggles off, look where I am, take my goggles off, look. No, once you put your goggles on, you can, you can fly the entire flight with your goggles on. You really don't have to take them off. And that's what I want to show you here today. You ready? Let's go on to it, guys. Okay guys, now 
Now, I hope you saw this. All I did was double tap the screen, and that puts the drone in emergency hovering. So look at that, guys. I don't have to take off my goggles. I can come right back and land if I wanted to. I just want to show you guys, look. You don't have to worry about taking off the goggles to see where you are. The goggles is so you know where you are. So don't worry about it, guys. Slap your drone in. Oh, where am I? Cancel hover. Emergency hover. Slap your drone in VR mode and start using this thing. It's just like. Height is 50 meters. Distance is 315 meters. Okay, apart from her being annoying, this thing is just like avatar mode. This is to go forward, this is to go back, this is to go left, this is to go right. Slide up to go up, slide down to go down. You want to take videos and photographs, your volume button, volume down, I think is video, volume up is photographs. That's how easy it is to take videos and photographs, guys. So, it's that simple. You have control over your camera. When you look down, you look up. Yeah, you can lock the camera in position so when you move your forehead, it doesn't move by swiping head to the left, swiping to the Disable right, enables you to use this, swiping to the Disable left, head locks it in place. So when you do this, the camera stays in whatever position it is. It's that simple, guys. You've got to fly this VR mode. I'm going to return home because return. my battery's Our running battery low life is and it's freezing cold out here. VR mode is the absolute best mode to fly in, guys. And if you have a Ghost Drone 2.0 VR and you're not flying in keyword VR mode, you're not experiencing what this thing can do. One of the reasons it has circular polarized antennas is so when you fly behind you, in front of you, like you saw me do just now, the drone can still stay connected. Guys, put this thing in VR mode and just fly, will you just fly? And for those of you who can, definitely look into this $20 tip and trick here if you already have a monitor to fly in avatar mode because that's the next best thing. Uh, click this link somewhere up here, I'll leave a description that takes you to the build, to how to build this monitor, guys. This is your boy, John X Factor. Hit that like, subscribe, all of that fun stuff and I'm going into VR mode and I'll be flying out.